Welcome back, part 52, Persona 4 Golden, going to bed. And uh, while I was in between uh, doing these uh, recordings, I checked my social link with Kanji. He's all the way down on level 3. That needs to change. Soon. Let's see what's up here. you up it's them they must have done this well that's not cool at all You know what? Let's see what happens when I say I'll give it my all. Whoa. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. This has nothing to do with pride or any of that. You know already, right? Once someone signs you up, you can't back out. If you got a problem with that, go talk to Ms. Kashiwagi. There's no way she's gonna listen. Why are you giving up? I ain't doing this. Period. Kanji-kun, are you still okay as far as the mandatory attendance policy? I don't think it would be wise to disappoint a teacher too much. Oh, that's evil. Oh, scary gal. That is evil. Just leave it to us to dress you guys up. Risa chons with us too. There's no way you won't turn out pretty. You're positive we'll be pretty? I guarantee it. Hey, why are you suddenly fine with this? Well, if we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. There's nothing manly about being a woman. I seriously refuse. Kashiwagi's sure gonna get angry if you don't show up. Maybe you and Kanji-kun can be classmates next year. That's evil. Why is this happening? Because you screwed up, Yosuke. If 
we gotta do this. Might as well go all the way with it. <laughs> oh, you're home. Let's go out. Ooh, okay. Can't go outside. Guess we gotta go to sleep in order to get ready for that culture festival. Man, the cross-dressing thing is going to be super awkward. some shills to drum up interest shills uh who who else is here besides us isn't that kind of sad do we have a choice we need customers to get the ball rolling if there aren't many people passing by we have to get the attention of the ones who are by any means necessary but there's only five of us here yo how's it going I came to check up on you guys. <laughs> but now we've got four guys and two girls. Hey, you guys are cross-dressing tomorrow anyways. Why don't you can sit on the girls' side? What? I'm not gonna... Yosuke, you'll be our girl. Are you serious? <laughs> Revenge. Well, let's get started. Uh, you guys can start now. And that other guy is completely okay, clueless. Well, like, what? Was, what did you just say? Um, uh, what type of girls do you like? Well, getting right to the point. I guess uh, cute girls? Man, this is lame. Oh, now it dawns on you? Your turn. What type of girls do you like? Uh, do do do. Oh, me too. Do you get this urge to care for and protect them? Don't think they asked you, Yosuke Senpai. <laughs> Your turn. That face. Uh, well, I. Uh, well, I, I. I guess someone who's, uh, kind of mysterious and, uh, looks strong but actually kind of. Yeah, I really wonder who you're talking about. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's put her on the spot.
That's pretty good. That is, that's pretty good. Romeo with Juliet and Hamlet. What a combo. Pretty familiar voice. Oh, wow. pretty good. The nose was in your school. Welcome back. Now we get the beauty pageant, which will probably go just as well as it sounds. <laughs> Ew, that's so creepy. Oh, this is wrong on every level. Now, don't rip me apart for asking. 
anything but, what would you say is your best feature? My eyes. That's hilarious. such a strong start. I don't know how much of a chance the others have, but here's our second contestant. An eloquent heiress of the noble Juness. She's pure disappointment from the moment she opens her mouth. Presenting Yosuke Chan of the second year class two. <laughs> It's I just wonderful. I would be able to pull it off. Dude, it's terrifying. I can just imagine someone like him sitting across from me on a train. Now, you look ready to win in that outfit. Do you often dress like this? Hell no! Uh... <clears throat> like, no way! <laughs> Laughing stocks up here. What did you think this was about? I've already had about enough of this, but there's still more to come. Up next, our third contestant. She has the mildly bitter tang of the city, and she's made more girls cry than there are stars in the sky. Presenting our transfer student who's been breaking hearts in the second year, class two. Sadanaka did it. <laughs> Kashiwagi. Dare she tear away our innocence like this? I'm scarred for life, damn it. Our last contestant is a random, unaffiliated entrant. She's a friend of our other beauty. Calling herself King of the TV World, she's a cute, sexy little number. Give a warm welcome to Teddy John. Alice in Wonderland. Give me your heart. That's scary. He has. 
has the authority to declare that unilaterally. <laughs> this is great. I love the direction this is going. Man, this is just... This is so much. This is so Japan right now. Like, and this has gone on for way too long. It's kind of dragging. Oh yeah, there's Hanako too. Dress yourselves up as well as you can, you little brats. What is she, the rival woman on a soap opera? Wait, is Kashiwagi serious about winning this? Mr. Teddy dropped this off. He said that they're swimsuits. Hey, we don't need them! <laughs> my mature charms will win the day. I brought my own swimsuit, of course. You keep one with you at all times? I brought my own too. What? What's with these people? Hey, let's let's not do this. What's that? Getting cold feet? Wise of you to back out of a fight you can't win. You call yourself an idol, but you're just jailbait with no brains, no guts, and especially no figure. What? There's no way their type would be crowned Miss Inaba. Why not just let them back out? <laughs> oh, and I suppose you think you're gonna take the crown, you little snoring pig! <laughs> snoring? What are you talking about? Your face is as foul as your mouth, and your brain's as rotten to boot. We went through hell because of you! That's it! Now I'm pissed! Yeah. Oh, you're going to challenge me? It's useless. Don't waste your energy. Let this be a warning to the others, too. Ugh. <laughs> you're going to lose. Now's your last chance to run away. Run away? Why the hell would we run from someone like you? Well, we did kind of run away last time. That's what I'm saying! We gotta stand our ground and get our revenge for that! How can we cower and hide when they're picking a fight? Yeah. Right, Reese chan Now, Jokun, we won't run from this, right? Huh? Me too? Why are you letting yourself be so easily provoked? There's no way! Absolutely <laughs> no way that I'm wearing a swimsuit. You're not going anywhere. Oh god. Ooh. Glad I'm not in that room. Favorite food is not pudding. No shit. If you ever find yourself in the area, please give us a visit. Our 
hot springs are open to the public year-round, so whenever you're in the mood to enjoy them, please drop by. Alright, that'll do nicely. Next up, a very familiar face from the first year class to Miss Rise Kujikawa! You're dangerous. The real reserve, ladies and gentlemen, in the flesh! Oh, thank you very much. Next is the mysterious transfer student of the first year's class one, Miss Noto Shirogane! Hey, Kanji, here she comes. Hey, shh, pipe down. Naoto Shiragane? It's hard to believe I'm up on a stage at a pageant like this. This is beyond my wildest imaginings. I, I really don't know <laughs> what to say. C can I step back now? Uniquely beautiful contestants are on stage! Now, let's have our special judge, Mr. Teddy, ask them some questions. <clears throat> I am Teddy, the honorary judge for this pageant. Please keep in mind that if you anger me, you will be at a disadvantage. <laughs> Miss Chie, do you have a boyfriend? What a teddy! Miss Yukiko, have you ever smooched anyone before? Huh? Stop it! Miss Naoto, where are you ticklish? I beg your pardon? Can I stay at your house next time, Rise-chan? What kind of a question is that? Anyways, I have a surprise announcement for you all. Wait till you hear this. For the first time ever, this year's pageant will feature a swimsuit competition. And it's all thanks to Mr. Teddy here. We'll take a brief break while our contestants put on their swimsuits and be back in just a few moments. Is cute though. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? This is great. Wow, Yukiko Senpai. She is exactly how I imagined she'd be. Well, 
Sad news, everyone, but Miss Naoto won't be coming out for this portion. Fine by me. The fewer rivals I have to crush, the better. Oh, well, I had a feeling that would happen. Too bad, Kanji. Huh? Uh, no, um... Well, yeah. Don't you think it was brave of her to at least show up in the first round? Yeah, you're right. Well, it's about time we voted. Who are you going for? Vote for Naoto because she's the only one that had any sense to, you know, not show up. Huh? Is that allowed? Thanks for waiting, everyone. The results are in. Looking at the way the vote went, you guys out in the audience had a hard time picking a favorite. Lots of different opinions, with every one of our contestants having their own enthusiastic supporters! On the other hand, it looks like you girls were all thinking the same thing. And so, there's a clear winner! Grand prize goes to... Miss Noto Shirogami! There you go. Androgynous charm seems to have won most of the girls' hearts. We'd like to present Miss Noto with her award now, but... It looks like she stepped outside. She won, even though she dropped out of the last part. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Man, losing to Naoto. Well, I guess I didn't appeal to the girls that much. Oh well. I think it's enough that we beat those two hands down, Senpai. <laughs> How could I lose a beauty pageant? <laughs> Miss Kajawaki. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> no, neither can I. Oh, oh no, go. <laughs> Miss Kajawaki. <laughs> hmm. That's funny. I guess. I'm going to have to skip to make this thing shorter. found you. I've got to make a business trip to the prefectural office, and I won't be back until tomorrow. Shame it had to fall during your school's culture festival. Nanako and I were both looking forward to it. Sorry to dump this on you, but could you show Nanako around? Would you like to walk around with us, Nanako-chan? <laughs> Can I? Thanks. Then I'm gonna get going. Yeah, you have fun too, Nanako. Okay, Dad. Hey, Nanako-chan, why don't you come over and stay at my place tonight? Huh? 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 What did you just say, Yuki-chan? Ooh, a celebration at your inn? Is that okay with you? Uh-huh. I promised you guys a while ago, so yeah. Hell yeah, I'm down. Once the scene ends, I'm going to uh I'm gonna pause it and save it for part fifty-three. It's just one night, right? Come on, it'll be fun. Because this is going on for way too long. So actually this is a good enough place to stop, so next time we'll uh deal with the final half of the culture festival. Well not even really final half, but the finale of it, so Running a little bit over. Thanks for watching. Phantasm Mask here. Signing out.